Hi everyone, this is Fatty Schultz. First of all, Happy New Year! Here's wishing everyone will have a great year ahead and may your dreams come true in 2017. For today's video, I'll be going over games which I'm looking forward to in 2017. To be honest, there isn't a lot of first-person shooter games that are going to be released in 2017. Hence, the games which I'm looking forward to may or may not be first-person shooters. However, they are still shooter games. Here are three games which I'm personally looking forward to. Firstly, we have Sniper Elite 4. The Sniper Elite series is famous for its gruesome kill cams and this time round it is no different as well. Set in Italy during the year 1943, the main character Carl Fenburn must once again help the Allied forces against the Axis powers. This time round in Sniper Elite 4, the exploration area or map size has been increased. The main character Carl Fabian is also more agile which helps him to get to better vantage points to snipe his targets. You can also make use of traps to eliminate your enemies. In case you're wondering, there are kill cams for enemies killed by your traps too. You can pre-order Sniper Elite 4 now. If you pre-order, you receive a bonus campaign DLC called Target Furia where your mission will be to eliminate Hitler. You will also receive a weapons DLC called Camouflage Rifle Skin Pack. This weapon DLC has highly detailed camouflage reps for all 7 of Sniper Elite 4 starting rifles for use in any single player, co-op or multiplayer mode game. Sniper Elite 4 will be releasing on February 14, 2017 on the PS4, Xbox One and PC. The next game we are looking at is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. I love the Resident Evil series and certainly can't wait to play Resident Evil 7. The plot for Resident Evil 7 is still quite unclear and understandably so as Capcom does not want any spoilers to be leaked. Various news sources mention you play as a character called Ethan who is searching for his missing wife and somehow ends up at a creepy mansion with some weird occupants. I believe this is just a fraction of the storyline and you have to play the game to know the full story. Who knows, that might not even be the starting of the storyline. There is a free gameplay demo for Resident Evil 7 Biohazard called Beginning Hour. Initially, it was only available for PS4 users but Capcom released the demo for Xbox One on December 9 and for the PC on December 19. So if you're interested in the game, you can check out the respective demos on the different platforms. And here's a fun fact, the demo actually has multiple endings. Resident Evil 7 will be releasing on January 24, 2017 on the PS4, Xbox One and PC. Now let's talk about the last game I'm looking forward to and perhaps my most anticipated game out of the three games and this game is called Prey. Prey is developed by Arkane Studios, the same developers behind the Dishonored series. This is the reason why I'm quite excited for this game because I love the Dishonored series and I'm hoping Prey will be of similar standard as well. You can choose the gender of your character at the start of the game and you will play as Mogul Yui who works on a space station called Talos 1. You will embark on a journey to find out the truth about your past as well as the mysterious alien creatures which can morph into objects. Morgan Yui somehow possesses some of the alien abilities like Mimic so this is not so straightforward as a human being trying to save mankind from aliens. Similar to Dishonored, players will be able to upgrade Morgan Yui's abilities and you can play the game however you want to. I really like it when developers give the players the freedom to approach their game and I hope Prey will be just as good as Dishonored. You can pre-order Prey now and Prey is set for release this year for the PC, PS4 and Xbox One. However, no firm release date has been announced, so I guess we have to wait a little while to know the firm release date. Alright, so those are the three games that I'm looking forward to this year. Do let me know in the comments what game are you looking forward to in 2017. Alright, so that's the end of today's video and thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. So this is Fetish Shoots and I'll see you guys in the next video.